In this lesson, I'll show you how to write any complex number in polar form and vice versa. Let's start with question one. Question one asks us to write the complex number two plus three i in polar form. The first thing that I want to do is identify my a and b term because every complex number has the format a plus b i, where a and b are real numbers and b is multiplied to the imaginary unit i. In the number that they've given us, two plus three i, our a value has to be two and our b value has to be three. The reason why I'm identifying my a and b value is because according to these formulas, everything's in terms of a, b, r, and theta. What I wanna do is use two of these formulas that will enable me to go from a and b to r and theta. To go from these to r, I'll use the first formula. So let's go ahead and find our radius. r is equal to plus minus the square root of two squared plus three squared. Two squared is four, three squared is nine, plus minus the square root of 13. Let's find out what that is in our calculator in decimal. The square root of 13 is equal to roughly 3.6, plus minus 3.6. I'll use this next formula to find out my theta. Arctan represents inverse tangent, so we have theta is equal to inverse tangent of my b value, which is three over two. Now using my calculator for this, I'm gonna keep my calculator in degrees, right now it's in radians, so switching it to degrees, just so that I have a better visual of the angle that I get. Tangent inverse three over two, this gives me 56 degrees, or approximately that. So 56.3 degrees. I'm going to plot two plus three i so that I get a sense of where it is on an xy plane. And if you wanna plot complex numbers, your vertical axis represents your imaginary number and the horizontal represents your real. We have two and three, that's like going over to the right two and up three. So we know that our vector has to represent the following point. We can use the angle of 56.3, this symbol represents angle, with a radius of positive 3.6. Let's interpret this for a second. We go to an angle of 56 degrees, and then because our radius is positive 3.6, it shoots towards that angle. Another vector could be 180 plus 56.3. 180 plus 56.3 is 233.3, and that's directly below. And instead of our radius being positive 3.6, it has to be negative 3.6. So negative 3.6 at an angle of 233 degrees also represents this point. The reason why is because if we go 233 degrees here, and a negative radius tells us that instead of shooting this way, where it would normally, if it were positive, it shoots this way. So the two answers between zero and 360 degrees, the two vectors in polar form are these two, and only these two. Let's move on to question two. In question two, they want us to go from a vector, which tells us the radius and the angle, they want the complex number. For this, we'll use the bottom two formulas. We have a is equal to r, which is six, times cosine 30, and b is equal to six sine 30. Make sure that your calculator's in degrees. Also, once you find your a and your b, you wanna put them in the format a plus b i. Let's go ahead and use our calculator now. Six, times cosine 30 gives us approximately 5.2. That's 5.2. And for our B value, we have six times sine 30. That gives us three. So our final answer is 5.2 plus three I. And if we plot this, this point corresponds to six at an angle of 30, because that would be around here and that represents the following. Lastly, they want us to write the complex number five minus three i in polar form. Let's start by plotting this. 
5 minus 3i, we'll call this our imaginary axis and our real. 5 minus 3i means that we will move 5 units to the right and 3 units down. So our vector will have to represent this point. We will use the first two formulas just like how we did in question number one. This is my a value, this is my b value. Our b value is negative three. r is equal to plus minus the square root of five squared plus negative three squared. Five squared is easy, that's 25, and negative three squared is nine. So we have plus minus 34, let's find out what that is equal to roughly in decimal. The square root of 34 is equal to 5.8. Plus minus 5.8. Now let's find theta using the formula right here. Tangent inverse of b minus a. Negative 3 minus 5. Using our calculator, we have tangent inverse of negative 3 over 5. That's equal to negative 31 degrees. Now we want angles that are between 0 and 360. So this might be problematic for us. First, let's use it and then manipulate it later. We have an angle of negative 31 and we know that our radius has to be either plus or minus 5.8 at this particular angle. Which one is it? Negative 31 degrees means that we are going counterclockwise. So instead of going this way, we are going in the opposite direction. In fact, we're going negative 31 degrees. If we want this to represent our point, we have to use positive 5.8. Positive 5.8 at an angle of negative 31 because we move towards our angle of negative 31, which is right here. And 5.8 tells us that we will shoot towards that point. If it were negative, it would be shooting the opposite way. Now, because we want angles between 0 and 360, although this is a valid answer, it won't be accepted by some teachers. So what you can do is find the coterminal angle of negative 31 by adding 360 degrees. And by adding 360 degrees, you end up with positive 329 degrees at an angle of 5.8. So that's one angle between 0 and 360. To find our other angle, instead of adding 180 as we did in question 1, we will subtract 180. Because by subtracting 180, we're maintaining the fact that we need two angles between 0 and 360. By adding, you would end up with an angle greater than 360. So be cautious of that. Let's find out what 329 minus 180 is equal to. We end up with 149. 149 is our angle. And this time we have to decide whether it's plus 5.8 or negative 5.8. If you guess negative 5.8, you are correct. So this and this represent the two vectors between 0 and 360 for the imaginary number 5 minus 3i. And so there you have it. That is how to write any complex number in polar form and vice versa.